former presidential aide, Reno Omokri, on Wednesday, said men of the Nigerian army would not want Mr. Peter Obi as their commander-in-chief because he is obviously too weak to stand up to terrorist groups, Boko Haram and Israel, and these have generated a lot of reactions by Nigerians. Newsbreak NG reports that Obi, a former governor of Anambra State, is the presidential flag bearer of the Labour Party in respect of the 2023 election. Omokri, one of the top campaigners of Artiku Abubakar, presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, accused Obi of religiously obeying the sit at home order engineered by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, in the southeast region. He said Nigerian soldiers would not want Obi as their commander in chief. A man who religiously obeys IPOP sit at home orders and even schedules his campaign rallies to avoid an event on Monday in the southeast is obviously too weak to stand up to Boko Haram and Iswab. Omokri wrote on his verified Twitter handle. Well, I can see that this man is just looking for attention because he's saying nothing. Hmm. If President Muhammad Wari, who was once a general in the army, cannot, cannot handle Boko Haram and Iswab, now, he is a Nortana. He knows these people. He knows how to talk to them. And he cannot handle them. So, Atiku Abubaka, who is also a Nortana too, who we tweet and delete because he doesn't want to offend his people. He, he is, the, is a strong man now that we confront uh, Boko Haram and this swap. People are beginning to say that these people, they are just after their, their own it's selfish interest. Any sane person in this country should know that Peter Obi is the only um, credible uh, candidate among, among all of them, among the presidential you know, uh, candidates. Now, let's go by this. In the recent, there is this a gentleman agreement that after the north, and I'm talking about the presidency, after the north, the south will take seat. Then after the south, the north will take seat. And that is what, and that's how they've been doing it. You understand? Like if you look at the APC, APC actually obey that the uh, power shift to the south and that was why Bola Tinubu is now their um their flag bearer the apc flag uh, uh, bearer today he is from the south you understand now coming to atiku atiku is a northerner president Muhammad buari who is the incumbent pre uh, president right now is a northerner and Reno Mokri wants a Nortana to still go back to the to the presidency after after eight years of Northern rule. Ah, make una wake up now waiting. Right now, look at the situation of the country, because the president is a full animal. And his kinsmen, they are now using that as an advantage to do whatever they are doing. Now, Atiku Abubakar wants to come in. And Atiku Abubakar is a Fulani man. Then, what do you expect that is going to happen? Now, if you say Fulani people, they don't finally get their certificates. If we can forget about this, our selfish interest. If this man enter now, this thing I go get. You understand? Nigeria will become a better place. Nigeria will become a better place. 
all these things, Reno Mokri is just saying, he's just talking because he knows that Peter will be in is a very big threat to them. He knows Peter will be will definitely divide uh Tiku's votes. That is the truth. So he knows that Peter Obi is a very big threat. And if Peter Obi is a, 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 a presidential flag bearer from PDP, I don't think he will be saying all these things he's, he's saying. Because Peter Obi is a presidential flag bearer in another party. That is why he's saying all this. Make we wake up. Make we wake up. Okay, let's quickly hear what Nigerians have said. Okay, okay, exactly what I'm saying here. If he's the PDP flag bearer, he would not say so. Do you know that the military don't like Article, either because of what he said during his first time presidential campaign, that the military had not contributing anything to the country, but taken from the country, unlike the custom, where he was, and that if he has his way, he will, he will scrape the military. Again, Buhari, who was a military man to the core and become a president on that ground that he has experience, is the country safe now? <laughs> he asked. Nigerians are reacting. Renault Mokri, what a bum fool and a perfect moron you are. Is today I know that you are base and self-centered. What a corrupt fool and enemy of this country is simply because of what you want to gain. You called Peter Obi weak because he's not a senseless talkative like him or mockery. Anyway, you are being paid for the dirty job you carry on. Or mockery is a foolish man from all indication at first. I thought you are a wise man, but from all indications, you are the most foolish man and you continue to you will continue to perish in your foolishness. Please do not bring in the military or uniformed men into politics. Are they not Nigerians under the same suffering? Omokri, who's strong in Nigeria? Why you your mumu never do self. Well, technology has made people to to hear ma <laughs> he goes a noise from hiding cre uh, cave. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. <music>